Dubai immediately comes to mind and we think of riches and luxury because of its cutting-edge architecture and fashionable way of living. The Burj Khalifa, the world's largest building at 830 meters high, is located in the city along with restaurants, shopping centers, and opulent hotels. Its days may be numbered, despite its glamour and wealth, which comes from producing and exporting oil. You will learn why Dubai's future is in jeopardy in today's film. Dubai, one of the seven emirates that comprise the United Arab Emirates, transformed from a fishing town to one of the world's most popular tourist destinations in a matter of decades, particularly for those seeking elegance and sophistication. Large oil deposits were found there in the 1960s, which sparked fast development and allowed for the creation of the greatest architectural masterpieces of the modern era. Beyond the Burj Khalifa, almost 300 man-made islands have been constructed. Despite having an abundance of money, Dubai developed incredibly quickly and without much preparation. The city faces dire dangers in the near future due to unusual geographic circumstances, such as the fact that 80% of its area is in a desert. The government has been making significant investments in tourism in an effort to rely less on oil. The yearly influx of tourists in the city is five times more than the native population. As a result, a large portion of the funding is allocated to making improvements to the aesthetics, changing the look, or building new businesses. Still, the entire structural element, particularly the man-made islands, stayed in the background. To put it in perspective, the government favored constructing massive structures before even designing the necessary infrastructure to support them. The Burj Khalifa and other structures without even a functional sewage system are prime examples of this. The enormous skyscraper generates over 15 tons of sewage per day, which the local system is unable to handle. Septic tank trucks were used as a temporary fix for this issue while a more sophisticated sewage system was being developed and was anticipated to be finished by 2025. Dubai is one of the world's worst pollutants, and a large portion of this pollution is caused by energy use. Because of the climate, which is between the sea and the desert, which averages 40 degrees, even the bus stops have air conditioning. The planet's energy consumption is highest in this metropolis, and a large portion of that energy is derived from fossil fuels. Problems with artificial islands are already beginning to arise. Erosion and sinking processes were triggered by changes in the wind and sea current trajectory. Dubai drops about 5 mm and loses 10 to 15,000 cubic meters of sand annually. Should the issues in the water appear severe enough, the situation on land is considerably more dire. Gradually, the desert is encroaching on many cities, causing infrastructure damage. This occurs as a result of the destruction of numerous fertile places to make way for increasing amounts of building. More than 56% of Dubai's arable land has already been lost. Simultaneously, the population has tripled in a few years, increasing the demand for natural resources, particularly water. In 2010, a million trees were planted in an attempt to halt the desert's expansion, but none of them survived. The same property was the subject of a massive real estate project that was announced shortly after, and no effort was taken to rehabilitate it. One intriguing aspect of Dubai is that the water is desalinated, which is a costly and energy-intensive procedure that occasionally leaves salt residue in the seas. If these trees were not taken care of, they would require more water, which would lead to an accumulation of salt in the soil in the irrigated areas. Dubai began implementing a strategy that many other nations have adopted in order to obtain water other than through the desalination process seeding clouds to create artificial rain. This requires a lot of money in testing because the nation has not yet mastered this technique and must import labor from other locations in order to reclaim their land, particularly from China. The country may be able to regain its land by this technique of gradually creating artificial rain, albeit the full potential of this technology is still unknown. However, money is something Dubai has a lot of, which enables the emirate to spend in methods for enhancing the nation's infrastructure. One such system being developed by a Norwegian startup is called Desert Control. Utilizing a particular kind of nano clay, the technology enables lighter, smaller particles to sink into the deteriorated soil and store rainwater, 
creating a new composition that can enable fertility and absorb nutrients. This technology is always evolving, and even if Dubai is successful in recovering the soil, obtaining drinking water and minimizing environmental damage will be its major challenges. Planning ahead and considering the environment is important because, let's face it, money might run out eventually. Same. And you, what do you think is likely to happen? Will nature win this battle? Tell us in the comments. To the next.